Our next guest builds very cool modular computers, and things are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and that's tech, and they've been doing this for some time, and they're really making it work very well. She's a PR specialist with XI3 Corporation, Whitney Thomas. Welcome into tomorrow. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you, and you guys, uh, fortunately, you didn't have a, like a big thing you had to carry from your exhibit, no. because you make nice portable, nice, small portable little- portable and small, yes. yes. Modular yes. computers, so tell me about this. Well, lots of people think it's a speaker, or a heard cheese grater but it's a, <laughs> it's a full computer it does look cheese grater ish it does. Right? yeah it does. that's part of the design though it is a part of the design makes it unique specific for the heat sink so yeah. this is our x7a model and it is a full computer you can load windows or linux on it wow. comes with an amd quad core hd radeon 7660 processor yeah. and you can see it right in there yes too, we can take it out peek. too if you oh, like yeah. sure it's really fun. i don't, don't want to break I'll anything do it for so, you. okay thanks so you can see the back <laughs> plate but a lot of different oh ports and you can customize that so a lot of our buyers will customize how many display ports and USB ports Wow, and and everything is nicely labeled as well. So you've got your USB 2, of course, ports, which of course you have USB 3.0 as well, yes. and Ethernet and HDMI. And it's, I mean, how do you get all of this stuff in here? I this know. thing is tiny. It fits it on the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So if we take a look inside, it's mm -hmm. really easy to take apart, and that's something that is really unique about our product is that even if you haven't built your own computer before, you can upgrade and update it very easily. So you can see right here, there's three boards that we folded on top of each other, and they're easy to snap out. Look at it's this. Like Whitney is, is <laughs> unbuilding a computer yeah. right before our it's eyes. Like Legos so. for grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> so, but you can see there the three boards here and, and our fans and everything. And um, How cool is this? comes yeah. with um, up to one terabyte of solid-state drive and eight gigabytes of RAM. So it's a very powerful computer for wow. the size of it. And SSD yet. So we, I mean, once yes. you go SSD, you don't go back. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of our all of our products have SSD. Nice, and of course that helps too in this whole very tiny modular design because you could never get that kind of storage in in a hard drive. No, you couldn't do that with yeah, a disk drive. To so, make it so small. Wow. Yeah, so that's kind of how it works. It runs on between 15 and 30 watts, and so a lot of our buyers are, you know, governments that want to go more eco-friendly or universities that yeah. have big rooms full of tons of computers that are constantly running. In fact, you talk about you can install Windows or Linux and, mm -hmm. and complete operating system on here. Uh, I want Chris to, to go back and pan over and look at the look at the machine that we're recording all of our video mm -hmm. on. Look how big this is over here. This TriCaster is huge. Oh, Can yeah. you imagine <laughs> that you have basically done that in a small square box this size? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we also have servers, so we're really excited to release those at the end of this first quarter. And that's wow. a big game changer because you can fit about, you know, 20 of these in one drawer that fits one server. Unbelievable. Well, you guys keep making the fun things, and of course we're going to talk about it, but what, what other markets are you in in terms of, of this real cool modular small architecture? Um, digital signage, embedded computing, mm. but on the consumer side, uh, our big, our big product is our piston console. So that's for gaming. It's yeah. called oh. our, the piston console. <laughs> that's the product's name. Uh -huh. um, but it's very similar specs to our 7A, and it's for gaming, similar to a Steam box. So we're really excited to enter that market because that's yeah. that's a really fun consumer product. Oh, for sure. And 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 talk about the ease with which folks can take things like for gaming to to gaming events and competitions yes. and stuff. When we've watched people for years carry humongous desktop PCs, mm -hmm. and then you got somebody says, "Well, here's mine, yeah. and it's and it's faster than yours." Haha. <laughs> it's faster and, and lighter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, how quickly can you rebuild the computer? Oh, I can do it pretty quickly. Uh, by all means. You want me to do uh, it for uh, you? Sure. All right. Not, not like it's a competition, but I. I no. enjoyed watching you unbuild it. Now watching you build well, the complete easy. computer. I've, this is I've never and built a computer till till this guy. So wow. <laughs> and how quickly it just all goes together again, yeah. and that you have all sorts of, and it's and then just slide it in. Just nice and easy. Uh, so. Love it. You have to check them out at xi3.com. Whitney, thanks so much for sharing with yeah. us, and and keep making these cool things. We'll keep talking about. We it. will. Thank you. <laughs> all right, our <laughs> pleasure. We're back with more from the middle of the show floor here for the twentieth edition of Into Tomorrow's broadcast from the International CES. I'm Dave Graveline, intotomorrow.com for videos of all of our radio interviews and lots more. Back right after this.